Hi everyone, welcome back to job one for all In this video we are going to start a new topic and we are going to talk about optional. So let's create a new package, ZZD optional. Okay, so forgot the test package. What is optional? Creating here a class called optional test01. Basically, optional is a way that Oracle created to basically do two things. One, try to reduce the number of no pointer exceptions. And the second is to make a little bit more explicit uh, what you are trying to achieve. So, for example, uh, let's say that you have a method that's going to return a name from a list. We are going to receive a parameter and basically if that name exists you are going to return the name otherwise you are going to return no how can we do that private static string find name string name and we can create here list off william that told you and if uh, list dot uh, index of name so if this is different than minus one it means that we found something so we just return list dot get from this position otherwise we just return no as you can see, if we find something, we return the name, otherwise we just return no. But if you just look at the name of this uh, method, you have no idea if you are going to return uh, no, if you find the name or not, or maybe you could return something like this, empty string. So you, you don't know, and that's one of the reasons why optional can be useful. But first, let's see uh, how optional works. How can we uh, create optional objects basically optional and as you can see we need to pass a type so what's the type that we are going to have here inside this optional because option is like a wrapper and uh, let's say string so before we work with find name let's create some options here so we basically have three ways one optional dot off and here I can pass any value and if I print this value right here you will get the string wrapped into this optional so you have the option and then you have the string so what's the other option optional o2 optional of nullable when's of nullable useful when you don't know if for example if we were working with find name the return is null or it's present in these cases you should use of nullable because if you have of nullable and you actually send something or you don't send anything you will get uh, no exceptions but if you try to send no or the return of whatever you are putting inside this off is no you are going to get uh, no point exception because it requires no no object and why should we care then uh, about this one once we go ahead and you learn a little bit more about functional programming you'll see how useful it is uh, to have the object wrapped into optional and uh, the third option uh, is basically if you want to create an empty optional just empty and you will have exactly the same result as you have uh, in the second option okay so if we go to our find name i don't know if my find name is going to return no or not let's say i'm not sure i just have the description of this method and I want to be safe how should we 
actually get this object them well we can do the following i don't know if it's going to be nullable or not so optional off nullable and then i have my find name and i will pass here william lowercase so it's probably going to return no not probably it will return no and i'll add here name so if i print this what are you going to see optional not empty but why is this useful because optional will give you several different options for example let's say that uh, in case we have empty name you would like to just replace with some string we have this or else you have two options or else uh, or else get get as you can see we have a supplier uh, but i just want to return a string let's say that for some reason the requirement says that if you don't find anything you just return like empty now it's like if and else in one tiny line you have empty as return and what happens if i do have william it's going to return william now let's say for example that you also would like uh, if it's present you would like to print the value uppercase if you call name you have the option here you see if present so you have you have if present and you have if present or else but what we are looking for is only if present for now so if this is present and consumer if you don't remember is going to accept at but it's not going to return anything so the if present the return type is void so you cannot put this entire line inside the system how to print ln so i want to just print so i have the the parameter it is a string that's coming from name and i want to print the uppercase as to uppercase control shift f10 and we have the name uppercase if we didn't have the name it will not get anything because it's going to be executed only if the value is present and the option is not empty so this covers the the first one avoiding no pointer exceptions because if we didn't have this optional of nullable we would get no pointer exception uh, for example trying to have the two uppercase and the second thing is trying to be more explicit when you are doing things in java for example instead of having return no we could have something like this the return is optional so basically i'm not sure if it will be there or not so when you write a piece of code like this whoever is implementing your other teammates they will take a look and mm, looks like i have to be prepared for a case where the name is not there and here you have optional dot off because i know for sure this is not nullable and here we have optional dot empty now if you go back to your code you are required to have this optional and when you are required to have this optional you are already preparing yourself for the case where this is not uh, available so what should i do uh, what's the requirement to do of uh, in case the find name does not return me a name so it looks pretty simple but for example if you are working with uh, api or database let's say that you are searching for a name and you search for a specific uh, name in the database and there are some requirements where once you don't find the name you should return an exception like uh, protocol http protocol 404 not found in this case with optional it's pretty simple find uh, name or uh, you have another option here that's uh, or else so for example find name and i can search it here with them and then or else pro and you have a supplier what do i want to throw well i want to throw uh let's say 
illegal argument exception. So then, control shift F10. This is going to return uh, for an exception. Why? Because it couldn't find the name. And the best part is like you do have the ability to have the name. So as you can see, the code gets cleaner because otherwise you would have to keep writing if else, if else. And with these in two lines, you have the, the requirement. You either find a name or you throw an exception. Cool. I think that's enough for one video. Let's continue with more optional in the next one. Bye.